kind introduction. I'm very honored to be here today uh, in Rwanda. Rwanda is a very special place. It's at the forefront of digital development. So it's truly an honor and a pleasure to be here and participate at such a wonderful event. Today, the, the developing world is, is witnessing history. We're witnessing development at the core, where we have the possibility to leapfrog and to develop, to bring development to our people through the most powerful tools at our disposal today. Whether it be in Africa, whether it be in the Caribbean, the blockchain technology gives us the single best opportunity to bring this digital development to a reality. The single digital market that we're witnessing today is starting to bear its fruits. Today, we're gonna see specific use cases, specific companies, what they're doing in the space. I was the prime minister of Haiti for three years after the earthquake that killed 250,000 people, injured 500,000 people, and most of all, that destroyed the country's economy. But what most people don't know and why the blockchain is relevant to developing countries is we had, in one single building, we had the entire records of the government in one building. Our tax records, our land titles, our voting registration was all in one single building. And in the 38 seconds that the earthquake lasted, that one building collapsed, taking with it the entire tax records, the entire election records, the entire land titles of the country. So on top of all the issues that we had having to deal with the grief of injured families, the grief of recovering um, children that were looking, you know, as orphans, we had no tax revenues for, 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 for the first six months after the earthquake. And imagine the need of resources, tax revenues, none of it was coming back. So I decided to join that movement, this global movement, which is the, the, the blockchain movement, which is, a, which is gaining steam. I'm part of the Global Blockchain Business Council and do many talks around the world to talk about the power of the technology and how it has the, how it has the, the potential to change the world as we see it today. And we see an adoption from many sectors, many countries around the world. So today is an opportunity to change things, to talk from concept to actions. What is actually being done? Not in a conceptual way, but in real way. So I'm happy to be able to contribute to this panel today, and I want to thank you all for coming and listening to this very important and transformational technology, which is the blockchain technology. Thank you.